check it out. Uh, we got an old clipper here from the 60s. Two pickup from the factory. So clippers usually only have one pickup. This is a two pickup with uh, multiple switches. I kind of got the impression that maybe someone tried to convert it into like looking like a Tennessean, but I guess they actually made these. Uh, but things have been changed on it. Check out this sparkly ring somebody made for the pickups. It has some old sparkle material. Matched it with the sparkle um, truss cover and then inlaid it with block inlay. And you can see close. Can you see the, uh, the thumbnail right there? That was the original inlay right there, thumbnail inlay. So they filled it with some wood filler and then did a really nice block inlay job on it. So they took an old clipper that's kind of simple, made it more fancy. And these are cool, thin body, natural finish, great patina on it, uh, cool black headstock original um, but somebody changed the tuners back in the 70s probably because they're old Grovers but they work great and um, I had to put new switches in it because it was pretty it was wired pretty badly I mean I just rewired those switches I put new tips on them so reissue tip reissue tip reissue knobs and reissue um, bridge that's what I did oh man it plays nice now a little action can you see that little action there Big fat frets, they got that. I love those flat wide frets. And they're tall. They're not like down to nothing. It's fun to play this thing, man. I tell you, listen to this. I'll play it left handed so I can play some real licks. <laughs> this thing a little bit here. Not bad. Bang to it, both. Classic fresh tone. Neck. Master volume. Volume for each pickup. So you can blend the two. And then this is the tone here, which can cut treble. amounts of treble being cut. But the standard, both in the middle, is a good sound. Uh, it's got that slim neck, which I like. Wide and slim. Pretty cool guitar. Had some binding replaced here on both sides, uh, but not bad. Not much rot either. These things, this, the binding on these things can rot out, and it's not happening to this one, so... Not bad, fun guitar. Oh, I, I actually routed that pickup in deeper to get the bridge to go lower so we could get the action down. And the neck's not coming out, so it's not like it's loose. I just think over time, everything moves a little bit and you gotta drop that action. Uh, that's about it. I mean, you know, the weird wiring in here, it all moves in there, but you know, that's just the way they made them, you know? They have actually little disconnect uh, and not even RCAs, they're weird plugs with pins. So those old Gretches have those strange disconnect. You can disconnect the pickup and pull it out and plug it back in. That's some early quick disconnect. That's it, missing pick guard, but man, I just like it the way it is. I think it's badass looking. 1800. 
hundred. Not bad for an old Gretsch with that look. I say put a Bigsby on it, but I'll let you do that because the second I put a Bigsby on something, someone's like, take the Bigsby off. <laughs> Everybody's different. So there you go. Thanks for watching.